Hello, yes, welcome to Good Night Housing with Dan Housing. Today we have very evil, very evil Uno. That's right, that's me. Yes, well, this is a, a meeting of the evil minds of some sort. I know, like, like, uh, like children separated at birth, maybe. Uh, I don't know if you know who your parents are, but. You know, you've got this nice mask on that Dan Housing notices. Mm -hmm. Wonderful teeth. It's wonderful. Oh, this is Thank you. This yes. designed by Rockwell Masks, yes? It, correct, correct. Uh, William Rockwell, who does uh, all of my leather work, if you will. Oh, very good. Yes, you have how many masks do you have? Uh, of these leather ones, this is my third one. And then I have uh, in my possession still maybe another 16, 17 oh. masks. Yes. You used to sell them at shows, Dan Hazard remembers. I did, I did. Not anymore, though. Uh, uh, now AEW owns the right to sell my masks. Wow. Do they, do they sell them? They don't, no. Wow. Missed opportunity, if, I, if you ask me. As a man who loves money like, like I do, you know. You know, it, there's a lot of money to be made in this face. Call Tony Elite. You know, give, give him a, give Dan Hazard his number. Dan Hazard will okay. call him anonymously. Okay. I will and, do uh, this right now. Fantastic. And you should call him and say, you know, Dan Housen was at C4 Wrestling one time with Evil mm -hmm. Uno, and he sold many of these replica masks. And now, with fans back, you could have a C of Uno's. Just like it there's usually a C of Dan Housen's in the audience, there can be a C of Uno's. This is a genius idea. I can't believe we've not thought of this before, Dan Housen. Yes, what, what is happening? You know what? Mm. Send Dan Housen a check. But you don't a have check. Yes, Me. no, no, no. Tony no. does. Okay. Oh, Tony, yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Tony Elite. Well, so, well, sorry, we jumped into it. Dan Hazard was distracted by these mesmerizing teeth. I know. I, I put a lot of work into it. You brush three times a day, friends. Oh, yes. Sometimes four. Sometimes four. Quite important. You have too many pretzels, they get stuck in. It's true. Yes. Uh, sorry, Dan Hazard just jumped right in. How are you doing today? I am doing good. How are you, Daniel Hausen? Oh, very, very good. Oh, you must have gotten that from Speedball. Um, we both have the sense of, uh, same sense of humor. So I did not steal it from him, but we probably came to the same conclusion. He calls Dan Housen Daniel all the time and he yells Really? Out. Yes. Hmm. But he, to be fair, Dan Housen is confused speedball for speed bill sometimes. Oh, I call him Michael all the time. Oh. Or Michel in French. Michel. Oh, yes. He taught Dan Housen a little bit of French, but uh, you speak French too? I do. Yes. I'm actually a, a, I'm a four French native. So. Oh, sucre poulet to you. Oh, I thank you. And now, have you learned any French over the years, Dan House? I know uh, Mr. Uh, Speed Bill has tried to help you out, but... What do we have? We had, well, Dan Housen just uh, said to you sucre poulet, which is mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. one. Uh, we have what? Merci, uh, framboise, uh, mm -hmm. uh, fromage. Oh, oh, all the essentials. Boof, boof, beef, whatever. Boof, boof, Yeah, Milk. Milk? Milk? Yes. Milk? No, yeah. that's a, that's that's milk with an A. That is not a French word. That's uh, what? That's... Who's to say, really? Hmm. I mean, a French person would know, but maybe you, you know. I don't know all the French words. You're right. How do you say evil? Evil. Uh, uh, mal would be mal? one, or yeah, M A L, uh, or uh, Misha. Would Misha. Be a... mm -hmm. Misha. Oh. Misha. How do we, how do we say very nice, very evil in French? Uh, très, très méchant, très gentil. Très méchant, si gentil. Très méchant, très gentil. Très méchant. Yep. And then what's the other one? Très gentil. Très gentil. There you go. Oh, we're nice. learning all kinds of things today. Yeah, isn't that nice? All right. Well, Dan Housen has some fan housing questions for you, which are okay. actually there's some Dan Housen ones mixed in as well. So would you like to hear them? Of course, I would love to. Okay. The first one is this one. This always stumps Dan Housen because they always ask Dan Housen this question: Do you have a favorite Simpsons episode? Dan Housen knows that you, as well as Dan Housen, are huge Simpsons fan. Housen. We are. We are. Um, I, I typically default to the same answer, but I think I say this answer just because it's hard. It's very hard. I, I think my day. opinion probably changes a lot. In fact, I bet you you could probably guess what my favorite is. Base. Have a grand scope of what you think may be the best episode of Simpsons, and we'll see if we agree. So, Dan Housen's favorite episode, which this flip flops, is Marge versus the Monorail. Okay, that's a fantastic episode. You only move twice. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Scorpio. 
uh, The Joy of Set, mm-hmm. and uh, The Springfield Files. What else? What else? See, Dan hasn't forgets. See, mine, if I would add to the fifth, and you've, you've named two other ones that I would also put on my top five. Uh, Cape Fear is my Oh, yes. When is it, how does Dan Hazen forget this? Mm, one of my personal favorites, but it changes. The Hank Scorpio episode. Oh, and Frank that. Grimes. Yeah. Frank, oh, Grimey, of course. Oh, my God, yes. It is not the name of the episode, though, is it? No, it is not. The, um... This is where my fandom will will, will show its uh, its bad side. I Davis not remember things. I've little. taken a lot of hits to the brain over the years. Yes, how is Dan Hazen? Mm. Well, either way, it's the Frank Grimes episode. He does not remember what it's called. He's probably in the other room, Davis, Dan Hazen's assistant, yelling what it is. Right. Get him in here. That's Come on, Davis. Come on, Davis. Hold on. Well, let's go ask him. Davis. Hmm. I didn't. I didn't think this assistant was real. All right. Sorry about that. Who knows? Okay. Homer, what did he say? He said Homer's enemy. Oh, that. Well, I mean, that makes sense. There it is. I know. We had a brief intermission there. Some Dan Hansen had to leave the room and come back with the answer. I know. We saw it. it there was no uh, no CGI. I saw it with my own no, eyes. But we did leave you with a little Dan Housing head. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, it's very nice. All right. Now, Dan Housen, I believe, has an answer for this. Is there a favorite season of yours? For The Simpsons? Uh, four is probably... That has Cape Fear on it, yes? Exactly. Yes, 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 yes. Six is good. Six is good as well. I think everything uh, uh, younger than season 11... Is, yeah. is is the best personally i everything up until season 11 I, and then i i, I go up to until 14 and then i've, I've kind of dropped off from there sprinkles clown pepper if you will bits mm-hmm. of good episode up until 14 and then it is kind of eh. yes exactly then, then it's the rare occasion where there might be I, i've also I, I this is because i think of my generation but it becomes more jarring as the simpsons go on when yeah. The internet gets integrated in, you have or a cell phone and a laptop, cell phones, and every time I see it, it kind of makes me hurt knowing that I've I've aged along with this show. So I think that's why I, at fourteen I kind of cut it off. Yes, also, but it is strange because there's the one where uh, Homer gets the internet, which is quite humorous. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That is okay because he doesn't have to understand. But then they get a flat screen TV and they get a bunch of iPhones. Mm-hmm. Lisa cool. has an iPhone and an iPad and knows how to use it, and that becomes uh, that's. Just it, it makes it makes me hurt inside. Too many, now. too many. All right, what? Let's see. Uh, oh, what? Well, there's one more Simpsons question. If that mm-hmm. is correct. Right. Uh, best obscure character. Uh, you like uh, a Hank Scorpio or a Frank Grimes. Yes, I think uh, I'll, I'll exclude those. Are we talking about like one episode characters? Or are we talking about slightly reoccurring characters? We can talk about those like Lenny and Carl, also mm-hmm. these others. I, I, I love me. I love Lenny personally. Oh. Uh, I also like Carl, but I think Lenny has more comedic aspects, and it might be because of how he lives. Um, it was true. No, don't tell anyone how he lives, though. No, we, we can't tell anyone how he lives. Uh, my favorite side character, I, I love Sideshow Bob, obviously, uh, yeah. and the episode of his that he appears is fantastic. Uh, uh, Kelsey Grammer is a fantastic voice actor. Um, oh, man, I don't want to... Ben Housen's evil plans maybe are kind of similar. Yes. Do you, do you get a lot of inspiration from from you know, one Mr. Side Burns, show up? Scorpio, uh, the leader, oh, lots of them. Ah, uh, yes, the leader. Uh, yeah, I think I'd go Sideshow Bob. Uh, Hank 